Let's make mashed potatoes with fritillaries instead. This one's commonly referred to as chocolate lily. It's a wild food native to almost the entirety of the Mountain West. Not only are the roots food, but the blossom and leaves taste like sugar. Fritillaries are a pretty special plant, and I'm gonna show you just why we dig every single one we find. If you can find them, they blend into the forest floor really well, especially with all this other growth. And even though I'm digging these before they can make seed, it doesn't really matter because each root produces corms, which only grow when they're separated from the mother root. And that's true for all fritillary. And this is not the only one growing here. But to find the other one, we're gonna have to leave the forest canopy and go to full exposure. These ones already bloomed and are making seed. They're called yellow bells and they bloom early spring. And just like chocolate lilies, they have a mother root that produces babies called corms and they grow into their own plant when they're separated. Here's a chocolate lily and a yellow bell side by side. And you might wonder why waste your time with something so small. But they're not all small, some are big. They're a native perennial, so they can live a very long time. Some of them are in their 20s. And these are some of the biggest ones I've ever found. It's easy to see for every one you dig, you're putting 20, 30, 40, 50 back in the ground, depending on how big they are. And who wouldn't want to be out here getting your own food? And once they're clean, you would boil them just like you would potatoes. I love living on horseback. Now it's time to mash them. And of course, add some fritillary to my butter. The overlook is loaded with wild garlic, so we're gonna add that and some wild celery seeds. Personally, I love the traditional with a modern twist. Remembering the past as we're living in the future. And taking it a step beyond and integrating it into everyday life. And when you can see the beauty, taste the beauty, while perpetuating that beauty, that is beauty, full circle. Technology may have been primitive a couple hundred years ago, but the traditional modalities, they are not primitive. They're genius.